Hi, this is Jane at Coburn's. Welcome to my home. Today I'm putting together a bridal shower for my future daughter-in-law who's getting married in July. So I'd love for you to join me. So come on in. First things first, um, what I am doing is I'm putting together kind of like a little brunch because they're going to arrive at about 10 this morning. And so what I did is I made my egg bake. The only thing different I did, normally I put it in, you know, a Pyrex dish. I decided I wanted to do finger food, so I put it in a muffin pan. I made sure to spray it with cooking spray and then add it in there. Now I'm just gonna pop it in the oven and you can find the recipe on my blog. Now I'm at my buffet table and I just kinda wanna walk you through what I did and show you how easy it is to do. Now, my daughter-in-law, future daughter-in-law, and my son decided they wanted a barn wedding. It was a dream of hers all her life and so now she's getting it. So what I thought I would do is tie it in that same theme into the shower. First thing you do when you're setting up a pay table is you want to make sure you have height in the back. So that's what I did. I brought some height in here. Um, one of the other things I did, I found this and I bought it and I thought it would tie in great with the wedding. And what's really good is she's going to get it after the wedding shower as a gift. The next thing I did, again, I wanted to keep it height. This is so cool because Coburn's um, provides this in our bakeries and it's a little spring pot and all you do is put cupcakes and you can order these through any of our bakeries. Isn't that so cute? You always have to have some kind of fresh fruit at every event. So what I did is I put together some fruit kebabs, but instead of putting it just on a regular platter, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do something funky and fun with it. So what I did is I cut a watermelon in half and I just stuck the kebabs in, here, in there. But you also have to have some fruit dip. And I'm telling you what, Four Brothers fruit dip is unbelievable. Okay, the next thing I did is I purchased some artisan bread from Coburn's and we have a wide variety and all I did was heat it up in the oven and sliced it. And the reason I put this bread out is because I did a meat and cheese tray and I did something different this time. I, again, I wanted to do think outside that box and make something different. I have a wood tray and that kind of ties in with the barn theme. And then what I did is I just bought shaved meat, a variety of shaved meat, a variety of cheeses. And again, the meat and the cheese is all Kretschmar cheeses, which is a very good quality, very good tasting meat and cheese that you can buy at any one of our Coburn stores. And then I added some bread over here. I added some black olives, some green olives. And again, you can see I tipped the glass over to make it flowing. And how easy was this to put together? And it looks so elegant. The last thing I want to show you on my buffet table are some of the other things that I did. Again, I added a wood dish to tie in with that theme. And then all I did is I purchased um, paper doilies. I wrapped them around the dinnerware and just put twine on it. Okay, now the best part of this whole buffet, and again, it's my favorite, are the scones. Now, if you haven't had a homemade scone, you have got to try this recipe. And again, it, it will be listed on my blog. But what I did is I put together some raspberry scones and I put together some blueberry scones. And I just found a wooden cutting board and put those on there. And look how, again, how elegant that looks. And I'm telling you what, they are so yummy. I'm having a hard time staying away from them because I can't wait to eat one. Now we are at the mimosa bar. And again, I want to tie in things that are related to the barn era. And so again, I brought in some wood. I made a shelf. And all I did was do some canning jars and put some straws in there. Then what I did is I also took some frames and I just put a picture of the happy couple. Now this happened to be a picture of them uh, the day they got engaged. And what I did is I made up little tags that say what kind of juice, and I've got the cranberry juice, pink lemonade, and I've got orange juice for a variety. And also what you can get at Coburn's liquor stores is the Moscato di Asti. And I'll tell you what, that is so good because it's got such a sweet flavor to it. What I had to do is I stopped at Coburn's because I needed to get some, just some cute little prizes for the people that won games. So what I did is I went over to our natural food section and what they have 
is a product called Purple Prairie and it's made locally here in this area and it's some body butter, it's got some soap, it has lip balm in it and they have much more other products that are just, if you haven't had a chance to try them, really try them. They smell so good. And all I did was put some tool over it with some twine and again it kind of fits in with the theme. Now to tie all this in, what I did is I put together some favors and again I found these little kind of little gunny sack bags just to tie in with that theme and then I also want to do a couple of games but I did some games that are going to ask and and talk about the bride and groom so that your guests get to know them even better so I've got one that is guess guess who bride or groom and I've got another one that says how well does the bride know her future husband now I'll tell you what what I did is I had somebody else ask those questions to the groom, my son, and so I don't know him, Mackenzie doesn't know him, so we're also gonna find out who knows my son better, me as the mom or her as the future bride. Now, I also added um, some mints, and I'll tell you what, don't forget those fresh flowers. And we have a wide variety of fresh flowers from Coburg's. And what's really cool is all these free little tags that you saw throughout this video and the games, they're all on my blog. They're free. All you have to do is print them off. Oh, Mackenzie! Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Well, I've got a party to host, so we'll see you in two weeks. Cheers! Cheers.